we also need to understand that there are times that God would intentionally allow some trials to come our way for the sake of training us, for the sake of growing us, for the sake of proving the devil wrong, as in the case of Job. Job never committed any crime. He did not sin against God, but his faith attracted temptation to him. But God allowed it to prove Satan wrong. This patience we're talking about, this is not the patience you have when you're waiting for your results after writing exam. This is not the kind of patience you exercise when you as a farmer, you have planted and you need to wait for the harvest season. This is not the type of patience. This is the type of patience that you need to survive the tribulations, the hardships, all the troubles, all the trials that come your way to, to snatch you from God. A true believer is one that is convinced about God. Having been convinced, locks his faith and gives the key to God that this is my faith, just like what Peter told Jesus Christ when Jesus asked him that would you also leave too when the disciples were leaving him? Peter said, Lord, where shall we go? You have the word of life. Me, as a believer, we are supposed to lock our faith and give the key to Jesus Christ that I have come to believe in you. And from that moment, whatsoever that comes your way to strike you or to pull you out of the path to heaven, you resist it with your faith. And you say, no, I'm not giving up. I have believed and that belief is final. I'm not giving up. 